What's up guys? I know it's been forever since the last update on the Porsche and I'm happy to say I finally have some updates to share with you guys and they're pretty big. Uh, it's not up and running yet, it's not done yet, but I've made some huge progress on this and, and I'm happy to share it with you guys today. What's taken the most time with this project is actually getting the engine in the perfect spot and that's what's been the hardest part of this project. There's been lots of little nuances and I think we're finally there. We have gone through a whole bunch of different revisions of the engine brace and we finally settled on this one and I have to give a huge thanks to my two friends, Junior and Lucas. Lucas did all the welding for me and Junior did all the laser cutting and helped with the final design and everything. And where we've ended up is this super nice laser cut steel brace that is super strong and it looks nice. Uh, once we powder coat this thing, it'll be fantastic. So. That was a huge step and it's taken a long time to finalize that and that's a, basically what has taken so long to get to get this next update. But now that that's sorted out, we can start moving forward on everything else. Doing the engine brace like this and bringing the engine up created a whole bunch of other issues that I kind of touched on before. Um, we, we can no longer use the factory Honda K-Series valve cover because it takes up too much space. There's a lot of wasted space in the top of it. So we've had to work out and we've made our own custom valve cover that will clear it because we technically have enough space. It's just, we need a valve cover that will, will clear the top of the engine bay. Also, because we've raised it up, we had to change up the uh, intake manifold. No longer will the S2000 intake manifold work, which was fine because there's, there's a huge benefit to switching up the intake manifold. We've switched up to a Skunk 2 Ultra Street intake manifold. That's a two piece design. And because of that, we were able to space out the plenum so that we could retain the, the factory power steering, um, which is a huge benefit. It simplifies this project significantly to, to be able to just run a hydraulic power steering pump as opposed to an electric power steering pump. So now with this new intake manifold design, we are able to utilize a custom two inch spacer and a modified skunk to intake manifold plenum because the, st the standard one is desi designed for a cable throttle body but we're running drive-by-wire so we had to change the flange so we had to cut off the old flange and weld on a new flange and thanks to my friends at K-Tuned they hooked me up with a very nice 72 millimeter drive-by-wire throttle body that should help make good power with this setup so I'm really looking forward to being able to install all that stuff. It's super close. We just have to finish up some welding on this. Not a big deal, um, but everything fits. There's so many benefits of having this lifted up. The ground clearance is just math is just is huge now. There's no ground clearance issues whatsoever. We are able to maintain the Porsche factory suspension brace, also the Porsche front transmission brace. That's all as is. We didn't have to modify it at all. So. So that's it, that's where we're at with the Porsche. Um, it doesn't actually seem like a lot, but it's, it's, it's been a ton of work to get to this point. And now with this brace out of the way, we can move forward on all the other little things. Um, also the valve cover, I gotta finish up the valve cover. We uh, have something really big and cool planned for the valve cover, so we're working on that. And once that's done, I will definitely share it with you. This valve cover is gonna be really cool. And, uh, but yeah. I'll share that with you, but for now, um, anyways, that's about it for today's update. I know it's gonna be a short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this thing back up and running. I know it's been forever. I thought I'd be done a long time ago, but these things always end up being way more work than, than you think they're gonna be. And I wanna make sure it's done right. And I think it's coming along very nicely. So if you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the project. If you do, uh, do me a favor, please like, please subscribe. And, and if you do, I'll, uh, I'll keep creating these videos and keep sharing the progress of this, of this project with you guys. So anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, bye now.